on his craft. And when he saw, okay, it's time for the tent sheep, and he went back to the job. And when he got some downtime, he went back to sleep. Yeah. And all David could see, see, he didn't see Goliath. But what David saw was that tree he'd been hitting for years. Hey, my name is David. All right, y'all. So what's good, YouTube? Right now, we are at JoJo's. It's a little spot. And we're just out eating after church. I got a club sandwich. That joint was good. About me, I like simple stuff. If I'm going somewhere out to eat, I'm going to get either chicken tenders, a burger, or a sandwich. And I got a club sandwich. But uh, I didn't even show you the fit check. Let me show you what I wore to church today. Yeah. What did I write to fit? A 10? See, that's why I mess with y'all. That's why I mess with y'all. But today at church, bro, we were just talking about how we, we're human beings trying to, you know, trying to be good for God. We're just human beings. We're just trying to live for a perfect God. You know, Jesus, when he walked this earth, he was perfect. He didn't sin. He never sinned. He never messed up. He was just so loving and caring. And I'm just sitting, like, I'm just thinking, we got we to gotta try to live like Jesus, bro. We got we to gotta try to live our lives like Jesus did when he was on earth. You know, we're not perfect, obviously. None of us are Jesus. None of us are going to be perfect like he was. But every single day, we should be striving to live like he, he was. We should be striving to live like Jesus. So, you know, that's just that just encouraged me, bro. Like, I should be striving to live like Jesus every day. You know, hopefully I'm going to do that, you know. I need to be loving. I need to be caring. And, you know, when I when I get mad, I need to pray. When I, when I sin, I need to pray. Like, when I go through things, I just need to pray, you know. Jesus, he, he set the blueprint for us. You know, he died for our sins. He lived a perfect life and he just took a blueprint for us and he showed us like how we're supposed to live. So I don't know, just every single day we should be striving to live like Jesus. But yeah, so. Wait, hold on, pause. Why I look so good right here? Like I just look too good. All right, back to the video. I'm about to go home and I'm gonna catch y'all when I get home. <laughs> it's dark already, but. What's good, y'all? So, I just got home from eating out from the restaurant we went to. I just got home not too long ago. And it's dark already. Like, bro, this joint is crazy to me how it, it just gets dark. Like, it gets dark earlier in the day. Like, in September and stuff. That joint crazy to me. But, and I'm about to get some shots up because if you know if you know me, if you don't know me, I'm basically a professional basketball player. I'm basically LeBron James. So, I got to basketball. I got to play it every day. It's in my DNA. Bars! Oh, my gosh. Ugh. I just finished doing some homework. Chill, chill, chill. I was checking the football scores. I was actually doing homework, but chill, look. See? I was doing homework, but we done with it right now. See? Dang, why I slam the computer like that? But right now, let me show the time because it is late. Well, it's not that late. Dang, we good. It's only 11.45. Oh, we good, we good, we good. I do got school tomorrow, so I got to head to bed soon. But before I go to bed, what am I doing? I'm about to read my Bible. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie, I don't really feel like doing it. Like, I'm sorry, that's just the warfare we, that's just spiritual warfare we, we go through as Christians, man. I don't always feel like reading my Bible. I don't always feel like praying, but that's when you gotta push harder. That's when you gotta push harder. So, look, what would Jesus do? Jesus would do the right thing, so gotta push through. So, um, yeah, so I'm about to read my Bible, and then after that, we're gonna go to bed, and then after that, we're gonna wake up and go to school tomorrow, so. Let's read the Bible. And when I read the Bible, I try to go somewhere quiet, so. Go in a little bathroom. You wanna see my bathroom, bro? Please don't fall, please don't fall. You can't even see me. Dang, I'm dead. I forgot, man, I forgot how sure I was, bro. I put a tooth up in my songs all day here when I see I told that Bible like my crown, no, they won't ever catch me sleep Tryna feel peace when I'm at home, Lord, I beg you, give me sleep I love that girl when she around, she a woman that got, she be having me geek Gotta be real when I'm around, can't do that cap and they say that I free Discern those spirits, cause I know they be acting, hey, I know Alright y'all, so I just got done reading my Bible, reading the Word And I gotta tell y'all what I just read, because it was amazing 
So as y'all know, well, as you know, I'm still I'm I'm still in Luke. I've been reading. If you haven't been watching my other videos, I've been reading Luke. But this is what I wrote down today. I wrote down those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So basically, I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know what exalted meant, so I looked it up, and that means like thinking highly of yourself, like thinking like basically like being like being cocky all the time. So, you know, it's I mean it's good to have confidence, but don't be cocky. So, you know, Jesus told us. You know, not to be cocky, not to be think we're better than anybody else and just humble yourselves. Be humble. Just be humble and just, you know, think think of others better than yourself. You know, just put others before you and just put yourself second and put others first and just be humble. And good things will happen. I promise you. But all right, y'all. About to go to sleep. Got school in the morning. So yeah, let's get a quick workout before I go to bed. <clears throat> nope, nope, nope. Caught a crap. I'll see y'all in the morning. What's good, y'all? So it is the next day, and right now it's like 7:40 in the morning, bro. And I'm headed to class today. I got an 8 a.m. class, and um, we actually not running late. Usually, I run late all to, to all my classes, but you know, I just got up early today. I don't. I got up kind of early today. Got dressed on time. <laughs> see the fit. See the fit. And uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm making good time. Like that's crazy, but. We're gonna have a good day today. I have a long day of classes today. My first class is at 8 a.m. Like I said, my last class ends at 6 15. So I'm gonna be here all day. So yeah, we're gonna have a, uh, a great day today. Hey, if you up and you're and alive, make sure you be thankful because you're blessed. You're blessed. But yeah, so uh, I'm gonna see y'all when I get to school. I just got to the school, man. It's not, there's nobody here, bro. I told y'all like, earlier, I said I wasn't running late. Tell me why I'm running late now. Tell me why I'm running late. Now it's like I have five minutes to get to my class and I got to walk all the way across campus. Ah! Sorry, but you know, before I go in, I just want to pray because I always like to pray before I, you know, I go anywhere. So dear Heavenly Father, I pray you just watch over me as I go to my class. I pray you allow me to have a great day of classes today. And I pray you just keep me safe and away from all hurt, harm, and danger today. And I pray you just keep all the students safe and just away from all hurt, harm, or danger. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. All right, but y'all see my fit? Let me show you the fit real quick, bro. It's, it's not, don't really get on me. It's not, it's not nothing too crazy because as y'all can see, it's rainy. It's like a rainy day today, so I just want to with. Yeah. I just, I just went with something comfortable today, but I gotta get to my class before I'm late. My class is all the way across cameras, like I said. So yeah, cause I ain't trying to be late. So I gotta run to my class, like the flash. Ooh, bars. they've seen the cardiologist for further testing. So we need to be Bless. aware of that and make sure that we're not allowing participation if they haven't been fully cleared for their sport. All right, y'all, so I just got done with my class. Whew. I'm tired, bro. My next class is not until two, and it's 9.24, bro. So I got, I got, a, I got a long time. So I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna put my chair back like D. And I'm gonna take a nap, bro, because I'm so tired right now, bro. I'm so tired. So I'm gonna take like a little hour nap, two hour nap, and I'm gonna get up and then get ready for my next class. I still got sleepy on my face. Let me wipe off my sleepy face. Okay, you never know who's gonna be looking at me, you know what I mean? I'm headed to my next class. It's like 159. Class started at two. It's right in that big building right there. Can y'all see it? Yeah, I can see it's right in that big building. Let me see. Right there. Learning for return on investment. 
is return on assets. So this is the default formula. So we do say that if we do like this, we will still give you All right, y'all, so I just got done with my, my class, and like, my next class is like in a few minutes, so. <sighs> this is annoying, bro. It's just like, go from class to class to class to class to class. Like, I'm just trying to get some alone time, too, bro. But this is my, like, this is where, like, everybody be hanging out at the, uh, the, uh, my college. I don't ever really go over here because I be in my car, but I'll show y'all it. This is not tough, right? It's for the cool kids. I'm not a cool kid. My next class is literally like in 10 minutes, so I just need to sit down and just relax for a minute, bro, because it's been a long day, bro. It's been a long day, but we're going to get through it because God's with me. So if you're going through something, just know God's with you, bro. Don't stress. I need to get my hair redone because my junk's kind of nappy. It's kind of getting like messy, but it's cool, though. It's cool, though. You see that? You see that building right there? You see that building? Right there? I gotta walk all the way over there. <laughs> Yo, man, I just wanna like, sometimes I just feel like nothing bro, nothing bro. Gosh, I finally made it. I finally made it. Quick dad before I go to my class. David, bro, don't ever do that again. Ever. I hate going in late because they all gonna look at me. Joining the same, the same as the same one. One shape. Why? Because the class of the entire the crazy person. After that, you almost completely. A contractual agreement whereby someone with a good idea for business said all right y'all so i finally finished my last class and i finally can leave like bro I, i'm so happy right now bro. i've been here since 8 a.m and it's dang near seven right now but uh before i leave i just want to pray because it's always a blessing just to like you know go to school safely stay safe while I'm at school and just get through the day. That's a blessing. So I just want to pray before I leave. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for just a great day. I pray you just, I thank you, Lord, for just keeping me safe and away from all hurt, harm, and danger. You know, I thank you for keeping me safe at school today. You know, it's a blessing. I just, you know, thank you for keeping everybody else safe as well. And I just pray, Lord, that you just, you know, allow me to get home safely and just, just be thankful. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, I was kind of nervous doing that because I usually don't do it like, like where the school's at. I'm doing it right out in the open, but you know, it's, it's a work in progress. I was nervous, like it's, I'm nervous doing this, but yeah, but I'm about to walk to my car. I got a long walk and I'll catch y'all when I get to my car. All right, y'all, we finally made it to the car and I finally can leave, bro. That was a long walk back to the car, but we finally can leave. Shot back backflip. I'll backflip. I'll backflip, bro. <laughs> yeah! 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 But, uh, my phone's at 2%, bro. Every time I vlog, bro, my phone just ends up almost dying. But, like I said, bro, God's will, we're gonna get the camera soon. But, I'm about to go home, so I will catch y'all when I get home. I just got home from school, bro. I'm just chilling right now, watching some NBA TV. Just chilling. But uh, that's probably gonna be the end of the vlog. I'm gonna end it here, I'm gonna end it here. We had a great day at school, you know. We had a great day at church yesterday, so I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Y'all stay, y'all stay tuned, man. Love y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and pray tonight. Read your Bible tonight. I love y'all, David out. <laughs>